Hey guys, I'm Matt Present, and I'm joined by Alex Harris of Evolution Basketball, and we're going to break down some film today. On this edition, we'll start off with Johnny Korish, a senior point guard from Madison High School. Absolutely, yeah. Johnny's had a uh, real nice career so far at uh, Madison, and he's going into his senior year with a couple of really big games, including this first game that we're going to break down, a few of the clips from against Oakton High School. Uh, the first clip here, uh, pretty simple. Just want to break down just a couple different things. Toughness, speed, aggression. You know, let's go ahead and rewind and look at that again. Let's go back to the beginning. Johnny's a barely six foot guard, ripping the ball from the post player. To me, that just shows toughness, that shows aggressiveness. Go ahead and pause it. Ah, rewind back just a little bit for me. Right there, he's hip to hip with the defender. You've got four Oakton defenders right there with him and he just turns on that extra gear beats him to the rim the best way to say it is you can go ahead and play sometimes the best move is no move just go by the guy give the extra effort get down the court this is definitely one of those situations where if you're in practice and you're not stopping the ball handler in transition you're on the line running sprints as a defensive team and he finishes with the right hand. You can tell he's a righty, but he went coast to coast with the left hand. Absolutely, yeah. Johnny's a very skilled player. He's going to be able to pretty much do what's best for him in that situation. I can guarantee you that. Uh, next clip for Johnny here. Uh, similar play. I uh, wanted to do this back to back here, but one thing I really want to focus on is simply that defense creates offense. And you can see there he gets the steal pushes it up the court, similar situation, except we got a little bit more of an exciting finish there. Go ahead and rewind that. If you want to put the knee to chest, feel free and pause it right there. But uh, I think the, the, the key here is, again, pushing the ball. The best move is no move. And when you get to that point where you're attacking the basket that strong, there's no holding back. You just got to finish that thing. Let's not, uh, let's not forget about the, uh, the bench here. Let's, let's take a look at that bench. I believe, uh, I believe we have a, a Karate Kid look-alike here on the bench. Uh, looks like we've got some nunchucks going there. Actually hits his teammate in the face. Not sure what's going on, but uh, I love the excitement. Well, we saw what the Monmouth bench did at the collegiate level last year. So maybe That's some right. of that now transcending down to the high school level. The trickle-down effect right, exactly. is, is, is real. Sure is. All right, let's go to our last clip here. And, and this one I really like, and it's definitely a subtle play, but something that I really want to, uh, really want to show. And you can pause it right there. You've got Johnny Koresh, your six-foot point guard, playing the high post. And I think just showing how versatile a player can be. You know, so many kids nowadays are just so focused on, I'm a point guard, I'm a shooter, I'm a post player. Be a basketball player. I give a lot of credit to Kevin Roller for putting his point guard at the high post. You're putting your most skilled player at the high post, getting him the ball where he can attack, and letting him execute. Go ahead and finish that play and watch him spin, finish with that left hand. You know, you've got, a, you've got a, definitely a skilled guy in a place where you can make some moves, do some damage. And the, the thing that you mentioned, the point guard inside, he also has the awareness to realize that he's going to use his speed and his athleticism against the bigger defender. Absolutely, of course. And, you know, it's a little bit deceiving, too, because, you know, you're talking about a six-footer who's getting up and dunking the ball. You're not talking about a, you know, lead-foot kid who's not really uh, athletic enough to go up against one of those post players. So, All right, for Alex Harris, I'm Matt Present. Thanks for watching.